Hi friends, welcome to Opa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 27 in Azure Data Factory real-time scenarios playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss how to round a decimal number in pipeline expressions in Azure Data Factory. So we are going to practically see how to get this round function functionality in the pipeline expression. So you guys may already know that right? in mathematics, we, we will be having something called round function. For example, for this round function, if I pass 123 point, uh, maybe uh, 2, 3, 3, 1 like that. And if I want to round it to two decimal places, then if I use this kind of expression, then it is going to say 123.23. So it is going to cut all the decimal places which are after two places. So after that, only two places it will take and it will return that value, right? So this kind of round functionality, if you want to achieve in the pipeline, pipeline expression, how to do that? So that is what the requirement in this video. So some people might be already thinking, okay, there might be some arbitrary inbuilt function for it to do that, right? So actually it's not the case. So there is no inbuilt function inside the pipeline expressions available to, to perform the round logic. So that is the reason I thought of doing a video on that, okay? So let me go to this author menu here. For example, if you are uh, having a data flow, then it is easy. In the data flow, you actually have a round function. I will practically show you that. I added a data flow here. Let me randomly add some source here. I am just selecting some existing source, whatever I have. Whatever I have. Then on top of that, I am trying to add a derived column here. Okay. And then here, maybe I am giving some ABCD as a column name. Then let me open the expression builder. And here, uh, once you go inside the expression builder, let me filter here for round function. You should see a round function here. See here. So in the data flow expressions, you have a round function. And you, you see the examples also here, right? In the tooltip, round off, if you see there, in the example sections of the tooltip, round off 100.123, then it given 100.0. So it is it will actually round, round it, okay? So and if you see the third example, round off 5.399999, and then it, it returns a value as 5.40 okay and similar thing if you go to documentation in the mapping data flows even here should form the round function okay so but yeah uh, but what is the requirement in this video i want to achieve this round functionality logic inside the pipeline expressions so let's assume i have a new pipeline and for maybe in this pipeline uh, i i want to uh, I, I am using a lookup activity maybe and that lookup activity may be returning some number. Now that number is a decimal number let's assume. And I want to uh, do a round of the decimal number to the two decimal places. So how to do that? So think, think such kind of scenario. So to do that what I am going to do, I am going to create a variable in this uh, variable section. So let's say like round number. This is the variable name I am going to give. And if you know, in the variables, you can only have three types, string, boolean, or array. So let it be string type. So whatever the round I will implement it. So that round value, I am going to convert into string and I will stare, store that decimal number as a string inside this variable. Okay. So let me drag and drop a set variable activity here. And inside the set variable activity, I am going to set a value for this round number variable. And here, I want to write an expression for my round functionality actually. So let me go to Excel first. I will I will show you theoretically how uh, the, what logic I am going to write now. So let's assume I have a number called 123.34231. So this is my decimal number. Let's assume. Okay. Now this decimal number I want to round. So once I, I want to round to two decimal places. That means once I implement the round logic. I should get a decimal number like 123.34 only two decimal places I should get so without round function how to achieve it so first I will make you understand inside the EDF if I go to math functions you have a add function divide maximum minimum mod multiplication there are so many functions but there is no round function so that is the reason uh, I am explicitly creating this video because there is a there is no round function available here but still if people want to achieve this kind of round functionality to round a decimal number to the certain places how to do that okay so let's try to see how to achieve this okay so manually if you want to generate 
this kind of number from this number then what you can do na so think like you need to multiply this number with 100 because i want to round it to two decimal places so i should consider multiplying of multiplying the number with 100 if i want to decimal round to three decimal places then i should consider my number to multiply with 1000 okay so the number of decimal places you want number of zeros you should include to multiply so my number is 123. 34231 then I am going to multiply it with by 100 so once I multiply it with by 100 this is what the number I got so let me write this number here 1 2 3 3 4.231 so this is the number I got right so first you need to multiply this with 100 okay so here we, 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 we just let me write multiplied with 100 okay and once you get this number so this number you need to split based upon this dot symbol so once you split this number based upon the dot separator uh, the left side part will be your uh, number which you have to take so split this number based upon dot and take the zeroth position value separately so once you take the zeroth position value from the split function based upon this number you will get this now this number if you divide by 100 then what it will give so let me go here and practically show you 1 2 3 3 4 let's divide this by 100 okay then it is going to return 1 2 3 point 3 4 so 1 2 3 point 3 4 now see this number and this number both the numbers matches right so this is how you can achieve so first multiply with 100 then split it based upon the dot and take the first portion that means left side portion from the dot and then divide it by 100 so once you do all these three steps then whatever the output you get that output is actually nothing but equivalent to the output of the round function so these all things we should consider to implement in a logic to achieve the round functionality so let me go to my adf now so now here so to let's do this everything one by one so first we need to take the number and this number we need to multiply with 100 so to multiply with 100 there is something called multiply function so in the multiply function you need to pass the numbers which you want to multiply so what i am going to do at the rate so all the expressions should always start with the rate symbol then here i need to pass my number so this number i want to multiply with 100 okay so once i multiply this with 100 then i will be getting a float value return right because it is a decimal number or float number right so what I need to do, I need to once you multiply, you will get this result. Now I need to perform a split on top of that number, right? So to perform a split on top of this number, first I should con uh, convert this to string. So what I am going to do, I am going to keep all this inside the string function. So let me put it inside a string function. And then let me little bit zoom as well. So that right, my expression will look uh, neat to you guys. So, so once I keep this entire thing in a string function, now I need to apply a split function because split function always takes strings only. If you are not sure, let me show you that here. So see here, split function will use string as a separation. You need to pass a string and then you need to pass a string of separator. So now this entire thing, I mean this entire thing actually gives you one this number in a string format. So now what I should do, I should apply a split function here. So split the number and then uh, on the basis of which on, on which basis i want to split on the basis of the dot symbol so split function always is going to return actually uh, uh, array actually so if you know see here if you read the tooltip split function is going to return an array of the values so what will happen now so one it will create a array which has two values one two three three four is one value two three one is another value because dot is a separator now from that array, I should take the zeroth position value. That means 1, 2, 3, 3, 4. So how, how we can say to take the zeroth position value? You need to use this and you need to keep like this. So this is going to return 1, 2, 3, 3, 4 in string format. Now we have to divide this with 100. But before dividing this with 100, we cannot divide string with 100 directly, right? So we should first convert into either integer or float and then divide by 100. Since uh, we want to take, since in our output we want the decimal positions as well, so better to convert this value into float and then divide it with 100. 
So let's convert this entire thing into float. So how to do that? Add a float function here and pass all the entire expression into the float function. So this is going to give you a float value. Now I have to apply the divide functionality on top of this entire number and I should divide with 100. Okay. So once you do that, it is going to return this 1, 2, 3.34 value, but it is going to return in a float format. So that is the reason it says your expression is returning the value in float, but your variable is string type, so it is not matching. So finally, let's convert this entire thing into string. Okay, so that's it. We are done with our logic now. So now what we have to do? We have to uh, execute the pipeline and see. So let me, I mean, let me zoom out this entire thing now. And now let me minimize this expression here and let me execute this pipeline in a debug mode. Oh God, sorry, I forgot to uh, uh, save the changes, but don't worry, I have already kept the changes in my note uh, here, in my notepad. Let me copy this and then let me paste this entire expression here. And uh, what is my number? What is the number? So this is the number we are talking about as example, right? So let me take this entire number into ADF and let me supply this here. So this is the same expression whatever I just now written. Okay, but uh, I, I forgot to save the, I forgot to click a OK button here. So I lost that. But yeah, it's the same expression, right? Multiply first, then convert to a string and then split that. And from that uh, split array, take the zeroth position value and then convert that back to the float value and then divide by 100. Finally, convert entire thing into string. Let me click OK. And now, let me click this debug execution button to run this pipeline and to see whether our number will get rounded to the two decimal places or not. So, my pipeline executed successfully. If I see here, see I got the same output, 123.34. If I go to Excel, see the same output, right? So, this is how you can achieve a round functionality in the pipeline function. Since you don't have a round function readily available there, you should do all this logic. I hope you enjoyed this video. So let me go to presentation. That's it guys. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever I add videos. Thank you so much.